In the previous video, we showed you how to properly scan furniture, a chair to be precise, with the Calibri 3D scanner. We explained how to plan the scanning trajectory in advance and how to properly process scanned data in order to achieve optimal results. In this video, we will show you how to properly scan small objects with Calibri Mini 3D Scanner. We'll use a polishing machine hull as an example. Distinctive features of these objects are a large number of subcavities and mounting areas that would normally ensure proper positioning and fixation of the engine. As can be seen, there is a minimum distance between these protrusions and one surface overlaps another. These design features make it difficult to collect data as light does not reach these areas. It is not possible to capture data from all sides of difficult surfaces, so some areas remain unscanned. So what can be done about it? The key thing to understand when scanning such complicated objects – do not try to scan them in one go. Break the work down into steps and tackle them one at a time. Our most important thing is to make sure that the maximum amount of data is collected in difficult areas. How can this be done? The answer is simple. Scan parts of the hull from different sides and from slightly different angles. When scanning a hole on the side, make sure to make smooth transitions from the outer side to the inner side. Such transitions are important for better matching of all parts of the acquired data. Common points of contact and transition increase the chances of perfect alignment of all parts into one whole. Now that all the data has been collected, it's time to process it in Calibri Nest. The good news is that the rich geometry of the object does not interfere with the assembly, but on the contrary, helps. Calibri Nest has a wide range of presets available to make model building easier. In this case, we chose Customize Presets. Such a model will most likely be used for reverse engineering purposes. Therefore, there should be maximum sharpness of right angles without smoothing. When post-processing, it is worth keeping in mind that highly polygonal models for engineering applications are not welcome. So to start processing the data, open it in Calibri Nest. We scanned the polishing machine in several runs and ended up with five projects. In each project, you need to hide unnecessary data in priority mode, leaving only the main object. We recommend hiding rather than deleting unnecessary data as it improves the quality of the final model assembly. Uh, hidden data will further help the program algorithms to combine scans. This mode has a number of significant advantages. Post-processing of scans is usually faster in the priority mode. It is easier to work with data that is in focus and not to be distracted by unnecessary parts of the scan. Also, the quality of the final model processed in priority mode will usually be higher. Use a round brush to select the data that we need to hide. Click the Support Geometry button. The Priority Mode option should be highlighted on the toolbar. If your polisher is gold in color and everything else around it is pale green, you have done everything correctly. Pay attention to the Quick Help option, which is marked with a question mark. There you will find hints on how to use this or that tool correctly. Then move on to the next project. Since you're already in priority mode, your entire scan will be golden in color. You need to help the program determine the areas that need to be hidden. Choose a round brush and select those areas. Click on the Support Geometry button. Repeat similar steps for the remaining projects. Once this step is complete, select all projects and perform data registration. We said earlier that for reverse engineering purposes, we need maximum sharpness of right angles without smoothing. 
To save time, at this stage, we set the resolution to a higher value, which will allow us to process the data faster and prepare it for an alignment. As the result of completed data registration, we have five polygonal models halves of the polishing machine. Now they should be merged into one common model. You can do this by selecting the Align by Points option. We set controls points and alternately merge separate parts. At the output we get such model and perform multiple data assembly to make one model from several projects. Now at this stage we can set a low resolution to get the sharpest model possible. The result is as such. As you can see, Calibri Mini provides a highly accurate and detailed 3D model of the polishing machine, which makes this device ideal for many applications. Make sure to follow our guidelines and recommendations, and then even the most difficult objects will be scanned effortlessly. For more information, you can always contact our technical support team at support at thor3dscanner.com.